Welcome to MMA Surge. I'm your host, Andrew the Squid Montanez, and on today's episode, we're going to go over my personal favorite move, the triangle choke. I'm going to show you my variation of the move and why it works so well and so effective in mixed martial arts. We're going to do this move today from inside the guard. It's, it can be done from other positions, but today we're going to focus just on inside the guard. First, establish your guard position. So my position here is going to be legs wrapped around him. I got to get them locked. I'm, I got them secured. I'm set. When I attack this submission, I want to break down his posture. I'm going to make blades with my hand, and I'm going to chop him right below his elbow on the outside of his forearm, just like that. That's exactly how it should look. Once I'm finished with that, hands go to the back of his head. I want to have him as close as possible. So now that I'm here, the next part, with my left hand, I'm going to attack his right arm, and I'm looking to get an overhook. An overhook is a wrestling move. It can take away a guy's power arm, which is exactly what we're looking to do here. I want to take away his biggest shot of knocking me out. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to blade my hand through his armpit, go out, around, and I'm going to scoop my own chest with my left hand. As you can see now, it takes away his power punch. Even if he tries to pull this out, he's not going to get it back. So the next step is I'm going to grab his left arm with my right hand. And the way I do that is I'm going to grab it with my thumb on the inside. Now I'm going to hold his hand to the furthest away position. It gives me a window to make this triangle work for me. I put my right foot on his left hip. I could push off his hip and kind of break down his posture a little bit. So when I'm ready, I push it to the furthest position. I lift my right leg through and I push his left arm back. And I loop this through and I try to get my right foot across the back of his neck. If you see, I pulled my arm out and now I'm grabbing my foot, pulling down to really tighten up. Now I can let go of this wrist. It's not needed anymore. It, it served its purpose. And now I'm gonna step up, over. Now I have my triangle. I have a three-sided choke. I'm going to keep my left arm over this arm and I'm going to put my hands on the back of his head. A lot of you guys have probably seen a triangle choke and a lot of practitioners will teach you to get this arm across. Nothing wrong with that, I just like to do it th this way. I feel this is a lot tighter and by doing this I'm keeping his power arm away and I'm actually I'm keeping him very wide so that it doesn't let him actually slip out. When I'm ready I'm going to put my hands on the back of his head, I'm going to squeeze my legs together lift my hips and pull down on his head, getting the tap. Very simple, really effective. If you want to get someone to submit, this is the way to do it. So now let's go over a few variations of this move. Coming to my guard, if he has his hands on me, I don't have to just chop him down every time. I can go in, out, and around and get my overhook. Now also, sometimes you might not be able to get a hold of this guy's wrist. He might be very strong, keep it on your chest. A lot of guys like to push down on your thigh to break your guard. So what you could do is you could let a guy push there, almost like make it, you could pretend like you're struggling, like, oh my God, you're going to pass my guard. So as he's pushing, kick his arm through and throw my leg over the top. Now I'm here, get this foot across, pull the arm out, come in here and lock. And the third variation I like to do is when I'm in guard, this is MMA. I took away his power hand for a reason, to force him to use his other hand. This alone is a setup. So he goes to throw a left punch, I throw my legs over, catch him in the submission, reach around, and I get him. And like I said, this is, this is MMA, so strikes, elbows, there's nothing right here blocking his face. So sometimes you end up fighting a very tough guy, elbow, elbow, punch, punch. Even just put your hand over his mouth and cut, restrict his breathing then maybe drop an elbow. You know, if you can break your opponent down mentally, you can break him down physically. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the triangle choke in full speed, so pay attention. So I come to my guard, depending on what he does, that's how I'm gonna react. Hands on me, break him down, get him here, get my overhook, attack his hand, throw it up, and get my submission. As fast as that, I can get him here. I always get this overhook, push his face away, push his hand away throw the leg up. I can't get the submission here. Lock it up on the other side. 
get the submission there. I'm here. Let's say he tries to throw a strike. Throw it right up. Lock it up. If you do it tight enough and fast enough, I could, I could tap him without even my arms. Now let's do a quick recap on what we just learned. So when you do the triangle choke, make sure you break the guy's posture, you have him close to you, and immediately attack his power arm. I usually attack with an overhook. There's a few different ways you can get it, but make sure you have that arm locked down. Once you have that arm locked down, start attacking the free arm, get your legs up, make sure you lock your triangle nice and tight, and when you're ready to finish, hands on the back of his head, lift your hips up and squeeze your legs, and you'll get the finish. So that was the triangle choke, my personal favorite move. So guys, subscribe to our channel so you can leave us a video response of you teaching me your favorite move. I'm the Squid, this is MMA Surge, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>